Hello and welcome back to part two of Elasticity of the Man. And we're going to be talking about some specifics here with the terminology that economists like to use when dealing with this demand function. And let's look at this very closely. The demand is said to be elastic if E of P is greater than 1. And the demand also is said to be unitary if E of P is equal to 1. Demand is also said to be inelastic if E of P is less than 1. We'll get a little bit more into detail in just a moment about these three uh, terminology topics of the elasticity of the demand function. Now, let's look at the derivation here. See how the demand function or the elasticity, E sub P, relates to the revenue. Very important. Since we're looking for a connection between these two relationships now, E sub E of P and the revenue, we will use a price demand equation written in the form of x is equal to f of p. Remember that from, the, from part one? Where x is the demand and p is the price. R of p is equal to x times p, which is equal to p times f of p. And the derivative of r of p, which is r prime of p, is equal to p times f prime of p plus f of p, which will give you this relationship right here. As you look at this relationship, f of p times, this is e sub p, do you know that? Remember that? Plus 1. Now, remember the revenue as a function of price is this relationship with this being negative. So, which finally is simplified to f of p times 1 minus e of p. Now, let's look at this graph here, basically. The revenue is increasing on an interval where the demand is inelastic. Again, let me repeat that. The revenue is increasing on an interval where the demand is inelastic, right? Decreasing on an interval where the demand is elastic and stationary right there at a point where the demand is unitary. See that point right there? That's where it's stationary at, where E of P is equal to 1. Now, let's go into a little detail about each of the terminology topics of this elastic uh, demand function, elasticity demand function. OK, if the demand is elastic at P, and you have E of P is greater than 1, then an increase in the unit price will cause the revenue to decrease. And whereas a decrease in the unit price will cause the revenue to what? Increase. B. If the demand is inelastic at P, and you have E of P is less than 1, then an increase in the unit price will cause the revenue to increase, and a decrease in the unit price will cause the revenue to what? Decrease. C, if the demand is unitary at P, E and P is equal to 1, right? then an increase in the unit price will cause the revenue to stay about the same as you see right here in the graph, right? Stationary. Let's look at a problem. Remember part one video where we talked about the, uh, the acrosonic model F loudspeaker? And we had uh, basically the three relationships at 100 and at 300. Well, let's look at this problem here. Is the demand elastic, inelastic, or unitary when P is equal to 100? Remember from the last problem, from the last video? When P is equal to 300. If the price, B, 
If the price is $100, will raising the unit price slightly cause the revenue to increase or decrease? Well, let's see. Let's look at A first. Is the demand elastic, inelastic, or unitary when P is equal 100 and when P is equal 300? Now, let's look at this. From the example problem that we've seen from the last time, we see that E at 100 is equal to what? One third, remember that? Remember when we plugged that into this value here, we got 100 over 400 minus 100 gave us one third. That made E of P to be less than one. And when E of P is less than one, you know, we can conclude that when P is 100, the demand is what? Inelastic. Remember that? Very important. So remember this here, an E of P is less than one, right? At this point here, P being 100, causing this to be like one third, which is less than one, that means this demand is an elastic. Let's look at it when, it's at, when P is 300. So when we look at this, at 300, we got the value of 3. And 3 is greater than 1. So when E and P is greater than 1, we can conclude that at P is equal to 300, the demand is what? Elastic. Now, B. If the price is $100, will raising the unit price slightly cause the revenue to increase or decrease? Well, since the demand is an elastic, when P is equal to 100, raising the unit price slightly will cause the revenue to increase. Well, this concludes our video, part two of elasticity of the man and of this function and we will have future capitalist videos to come very very soon so stay tuned and see you later